praise God, praise God. Alright. Uh, so, aku, mari pasir teman Alright, Alright, anyway. Praise God, praise God. Danny is my friend. Danny, my friend. Hmm, yeah. Praise God, praise God. Alright, uh, we are going to study, keep on studying from Exodus chapter 2 verse 13. Alright, we've been stud we studied about Moses and the burning bush even last Sunday. And we'll continue to study on that verse again. Like, you know, we saw that, you know, Moses was not a murderer. Right, and uh, uh, my thought said, this is Raji Rakhor translating me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, you are a family. I think I can do that. Right, we studied about like, you know, Moses. He was not a murderer, but he was a person who always uh, was a uh, was a re well, believed in reconciliation. Yeah. So he was not always an enemy, uh, like a person who is a murderer. He was not a murderer. Okay. Right, and we find that is what happened on in verse 13 when the two people, the two Hebrews were fighting. You know, and then we last Sunday touched this subject, but what you find interesting in verse 13 is that he did not sigh off to ask the question to the guy who was in the wrong. Many, many times we cannot, we, we sigh off from asking the proper questions. Many times we think that we are not the judge and so let them do whatever they want to do. But that is not ex that is not right for a believer's life. A believer's life must learn to ask proper questions as a proper in proper situations. And that is why he asked the person, why are you doing that? See, when you ask a proper question, it is not a, not judging. Right? That question helps the person to think on his own actions. Something has closed his mind and proved to him that he is doing right. But your question will wake him up and he will want to think whether he is right or he is wrong. And so has a believer the world needs people like you and me who help them rethink. Secondly, we find that the person 
you know, was physically abusing his own brother, a Hebrew. Let me tell you, I have seen a situation in a pastor's conference where somebody was lying on the floor and he was being kicked. All the pastors and the pastor committee people were surrounding, observing what was happening. Naked feet, I took my scooter, went into the place in the daycare center and saw what was happening. See, somebody can be abused. See, verbal discussion can be acceptable. But never somebody abusing somebody physically uh, and when it's a family, it's our own community can we just stand as onlookers? You see this? We must never, never stop ourselves from entering that situation. Never stop ourselves from entering that situation. Yes, we must enter into that situation and Moses did exactly the same thing. See now what happens when Moses goes into the situation. Read verse 40. It says, and he said, means the Hebrew who was beating the other uh, weaker Hebrew said, Who made thee a prince and a judge over us? Thinkest thou to kill me as thou killed the Egyptian? Yes. Moses just asked the question to the guy. See what started happening. Now think of the scenario before we enter into this. Think of the scenario. Do you think these two guys were fighting in the wilderness? It is written that Moses was going to from the palace to where the slaves were or the Hebrews were. Musa is a Gulam Gulamo Hata Kaja Hebrew Hata is a guy Musa. Most probably he was going into that colony or the place where they were all together. You see this? It was not an event that was happening where there were no onlookers. It was not happening where there were no onlookers means there were onlookers. Yes. And the same thing was happening that this one guy was hitting the other guy. You know who were the onlookers probably? Most probably the leaders of the community, the leaders of the family, and the people who like to be elders and respected. No friends, it is such a sad situation that people would not intervene. But you and I, we are called to ask questions. Well, 
And when Moses asked a question, see the guy, he sees, he automatically sees an authority in Moses. He sees an authority in Moses. You see this, if you will just ask a question to, to somebody, a proper question, he will feel an authority in, in you. See, he says, who made you a prince and a, and a judge over us? Think of these two titles, to be a prince and to be a judge. They are awesome, they are big titles. You see this, when somebody knows he is in the wrong, but he is, so nobody stops him. He will continue doing what he is doing. But if as a believer you will stop him, and then he will, in his mind, he may be sarcastic, but he is going to label you as a prince or a judge. It can be a sarcastic remark, I don't know, that Jeremy needs to help us now. <laughs> All right. That's, but yet it is he gives you a position of a prince or a judge. In that remark there is a truth. Because you are right now positioned as a son of God. As believer, we are always children of God. We never want to question anybody apart from this position. And that is why, friends, you know, if there will be a vacuum in this area, you know, men will continue to behave immorally and whatever they want to do, they will continue to do. See, secondly, he says, do you think you are going to kill me like you killed an Egyptian? Says, he almost sees some retribution of his action. Sorry. Uh, you know, he sees an act of retribution even when he replies that, are you going to kill me? Hmm. What does this mean? You see, everybody has a proper sense of punishment in, in themselves. Supposing punishment is a bad word, but there is a sense of judgment in all of us. And now he is imagining himself being killed and buried in the land just like that Egyptian. 
तो इजिप्शियन ने मारी ना को अगर जो हिब्रू ने पर ए जिन जाने के मारी ना को अगर दाखवा मारो से हुई है ये कल्पना करी गई है सिर्फ फ्रेंड्स दिस इज ऑसम निष्फल you know take our positions in the lord so viswasi tarike tamaru je sthan che tame jan pakdi no jakdi rakho you know it is also possible i was thinking why would the leaders just not want to intervene mane prashna tha ke ke neta ho ke vachche nahi padta or why would one hebrew brother want to uh, really physically abuse another hebrew brother kar na samane hebrew hebrew bhai bija hebrew bhai ne sarli it is very much possible that the slavery slavery was going over was getting on their nerves now to je gulami pratha mathi aayla e jane ke gulami padu emni rage ragmo vastu tu probably they were now not having any hope in the whole situation or in their life itself ave paristhiti ma tamne koi aasha no kiran janatu no you know a hebrew beating a hebrew there was that was not a difference for them anymore ave ek hebrew bija hebrew mara ema koi mudo farak tha because every day the egyptians used to beat the hebrews anyway ave egyptian loko roz hebrew marta tha so they probably were not seeing any evil in that act itself tame tame sab charuchitro ke tv par रोज हिंसा जोता हो लेकिन तुमने हिंसा रोज करती हो तो कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता। क्या तुम्हारे मन में स्टेबल ही उच्च है? You see this probably that was the case over here that they they are in a hopeless condition now. जो आशा भी हो नहीं सकती वो होता। And this is a fact that the world out there is in a hopeless condition. ना आप तो एमु जगत एमु जगत जाने के आशा भी हो नहीं होती। If there is any hope. For this nation, you and I, we are the hope for this nation. तो आज देश में तो कोई आशा चाहे तो कमेल नहीं चु। Jesus Christ is the answer. और इतने इस प्रभु से किस जवाब चाहे? And that is why, friends, it is our responsibility to bring hope in a hopeless situation. तो तुम्हारी ने मारी जवाब दारी बनी जाए चाहे कि आशा भी हो ना जगत में तुम्हें एक आशा बनी रहो। Yes, probably Moses yet did not know the Hebrew God properly, but he had a heart that had hope in him. मूसा हिब्रू ना देव ने कदाचित करा में जान तो ना तो पर तेरी पास एक आशा थी। Friends, let's rise up to this occasion. आ पसंद है तो हमारे ऊपर तो हमारे जरूर से। Let's let's bring hope to the nation. आ पर देश के लिए तो मैं आशा बनी रहो एक बारी प्राप्त करो। Amen and that is what I see from these uh, verses 13 and 14 from. Uh, uh, Yeah, from the scriptures. मेरे तो मन ये जब पुस्तक बहुत ही अपने चोदने का लम्बा दिन बने आ कारणों में ही आए। And I think we need to really, really reorient ourselves. जो फरी एक बार आपने अपनी जागरूक कर लिया। You know, we are the sword and the light for this whole world. हमें अजवारों ने भी चूज़ हो। Let us, let us really penetrate deep into the society out there. आ समझ मारो। Also in our own society, let us penetrate deep into the society. Our Christian society, our own body, can be changed. No, for they need hope. They need somebody who would just go and question them. Let us learn to ask proper questions to this community. सारों ने सचोट प्रश्नों पूछवाने सीखो. We are not judge. Yes, I accept. We are not judge. God is the judge. तुम कह रहे कोई नहीं 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 करो भगवान तुमने मने नहीं इस नती बनाया. Yes, but God has called you and me to go and ask them. तुमने मने कि देव नदी का होने कारण है अधिकार से करो जेल में जाकर पूछो. Why is their life so? Why is their life so? Let's go. पूछो अगर क्या नहीं था इतना उस जीवन क्या मारा मुझे? If there is hopelessness, go and ask why are you feeling hopeless today? 
Yes, there are there is misery all around. It is a fact. But that doesn't mean you and I we live a hopeless life. Right? There is hope in Jesus Christ. There is hope in love of Jesus. Let us pray. સમાજમાં તમારે જવું હોય તો જઈ શકો છો યુ થેન્ક યુ ફોર કમિંગ Yeah, I'm